How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Black Lives Matter being nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. I am not making this up. I am 1,000% serious. Black Lives Matter, the crazy, ridiculous, violent, often organization, has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. And that's a lot I want to say about this. There's a lot on my mind about this particular topic. But before we go down the rabbit hole, let's look at this article from The Guardian. Briefly, I won't spend too much time here. We're going to read just the first few sentences to see exactly what's going on, just so we're on the same page with each other. And you see it right here. You see the headline, Black Lives Matter Movement Nominated for Nobel Peace Prize. And the subhead reads, Norwegian MP cites global impact of BLM in raising awareness and consciousness of racial injustice. All right. So the Black Lives Matter movement has been nominated for the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize for the way it's called for systemic change has spread around the world. So it's really about not just in America where they've caused a lot of damage, but also for what they've done around the world. And you guys from Canada, UK, Australia, uh, other parts of Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, let me know how well BLM has done in your particular part of the world. We'll keep on going. In his nomination papers, the Norwegian MP Peter Eid, Ed, I'm, you know, I'm butchering his name, said the movement had forced countries outside the U.S. to grapple with racism within their own societies. Quote, I find that one of the key challenges we have seen in America, but also in Europe and Asia, is a kind of increasing conflict based on inequality. Black Lives Matter has become a very important worldwide movement to fight racial injustice. They have had a tremendous achievement in raising global awareness and consciousness about racial justice. Okay, now here's something right here. I, who was previously nominated human rights activist from Russia and China for the prize, said one other thing that impressed him about the Black Lives Matter movement was the way, quote, they have been able to mobilize people from all groups of society, not just African-Americans. So you don't say, because every time I see a BLM march, rally, riot, whatever you want to call it, I'm seeing 95% white faces, but we'll keep on going. Not just African-Americans, not just quote unquote oppressed people. It has been a broad movement in a way in which has been different from their predecessors. All right. Now I'm gonna read this last part and then I'm going to keep on going. The Black Lives Matter movement was founded in 2013 in response to the acquittal of in the U.S. of the man who shot Trayvon Martin. Okay. I think I'm going to just put the pause on the reading right there and get back to the video here. The black lives matter movement is a fraudulent movement. In my humble opinion, just really existing to create problems, to create strife for political purposes and also to raise money for whoever wants the money to be in their pocket, whether that be democratic presidential nominees like Joe Biden, congressional candidates, whoever wants it, they can get it also for those that, are you know heads up in the movement people that are on the ground getting money that's who the money is for black lives matter raised what 10.6 billion dollars in six months after george floyd died last summer all right what was that like may 2020 and six months after that they raised 10.6 billion you got a lot of black folks talking about where's my stimmy where's the stimulus check i don't get my 600 dollars black lives matter got it okay if you have 10 billion dollars and 40 million people, that's $250 per person if each person gets money from this thing evenly. Now, if you divide that in half and give a adult that's eligible the $250, it goes to 500 rather than 250 from the 10 billion if you do it evenly. So your stimulus is right there. You trying to stress the postman at death talking about where's my 600 from the federal government now? How about you stress Black Lives Matter because they got it. But I digress. Trayvon Martin wasn't even killed by a police officer because people keep telling me that Black Lives Matter is about racial injustice. When white cops kill black people, all this and that. And the third, or when a white person, regardless of whether they are a cop or not, kills a black person and they get away with it. But Trayvon Martin was killed by a civilian who was not even white. Zimmerman was Hispanic and not a police officer. So the whole thing was built on the lie and it's been lies ever since. All right. And how are they nominated for a peace prize when they've caused nothing but strife? I don't see anything that BLM has done that's actually positive. 
The only time I see them ever in the media or anywhere else that I look at, I look at local news, national news. I look at everything. I look at alternative media. I'm everywhere looking for news. I never hear about them until something negative going on. All right. They're always causing problems. They said it was like 25 deaths last year caused by these types of, you know, Antifa, BLM type things going on. And I can point to some specific deaths, deaths that were caused directly by BLM so-called protesters and deaths that were caused indirectly by BLM protests happening. And also some deaths that happened right around BLM time that got little to no coverage in the mainstream media. OK, little to no coverage. There was a story back in 2015 that I covered it when it happened back then on this channel. And if you've been here for a while or you just happened to see the video recently, you know what I'm talking about. There was a nine year old girl by the name of Jamila Bowden who was sitting on her mom's bed doing homework one evening when a bullet shot through the wall and it hit her and she died. Nine years old. You had grown men, police officers outside of her house crying, crying, grown men, nine years old, little girl, not doing anything, not involved with nothing, just doing homework on the mom's bed, doing the right thing. She gets shot through the wall. This happened in Ferguson, Missouri, right where all the, the violence was happening as it relates to BLM. Now, not far from where she lived, right around the same time. There was some dope boy, his name was unimportant, but there was some dope boy that got killed because the police were getting ready to arrest him or raid the house and he's trying to resist and he got shot. Then it was a whole big riot for that. That got a lot of attention, but Jamila Bolden, not so much attention. So you're talking about somebody that's not innocent, doing the wrong thing, getting all kind of attention, but a little girl who is shot in the environment in which all these riots and protests, quote unquote, protests are happening. When she gets shot and killed, it, you know, like, What's where's the outrage and outcry for that? Another little girl that got killed was recently last year. Her name was Sequoia Turner, an eight year old little girl got shot in her mom's car. Her mom was trying to get um, home. She was driving the car. Obviously, the daughter was in the car. I think her mom's friend was in the car in the front. She was trying to get home, got off at the wrong exit, I suppose, in Atlanta and wound up right where was that Rayshard Brooks got shot this was right during the time where they had Chaz Chop and all these little autonomous zones that police were allowing to just stay up because hands up don't shoot Black Lives Matter all this day and the third and Tifa out there Black Lives Matter out there uh, I guess taking the area over as a protest well they had this little Wendy's taking over because it had been burned down after Rayshard Brooks had got killed there after he fought with the police trying to take the taser and shoot him after being drunk in his car. But that's, that's a different story. Anyway, they had this little area blocked off. The mom gets off at the wrong exit. She's trying to turn around, go back the other way. And one of the so-called protesters fires in her car, kills a little girl. Black Lives Matter, I can't tell. You've had dozens of black people that have been shot and killed by Black Lives Matter. I'll tell you this, and I'm confident when I say this, I don't know it for 100% certain, but I'm pretty confident that I'm right. And I challenge anybody to prove me wrong on this. I think that in the entirety of 2020, there were more innocent black people killed by Black Lives Matter and or in Black Lives Matter type areas where there's been riots and protests and, and an increase in crime because of a lack of police enforcement. One thing that happens before I get to my thing that I was trying to say in a lot of these areas where you have Black Lives Matter, the police are often kind of forced away or forced to kind of stand down by the, the leadership locally or by those that are in the area. The whole thing is we hate cops, ACAB, all this and that. So the police are forced to back off. Then there's more crime as a result and people are killed in that environment. But I'll move on. I'm willing to bet that on all of 2020, maybe even 2019 as well, there were more innocent black people killed by Black Lives Matter and or in these Black Lives Matter related areas, then the police kill innocent people all over the country. I'm willing to bet that. And, and definitely black people. So, I mean, what's the actual biggest problem when they're talking about black folks? Is it the police? Is it the white man? Or is it other black people? I mean, you tell me, okay, you got 13% of the population, 50% of all the murder, 50% of all the murder victims. I mean, come on, stop it. 
Nobel Peace Prize for what? They've not been able to impact the black on black murder rate, which is through the roof more than anybody else in the whole country, more than anybody else in the world. I mean, what are we even doing? Like, how do you want to get a Nobel Peace Prize for what? Oh, you're raising awareness, raising awareness, uh, awareness of what? Of, of the white man being evil? Well, how about uh, not assisting in what they purport themselves to be for? The name says Black Lives Matter. So what is it about? Is it about trying to raise awareness for the white man, trying to raise money for the white man, including Joe Biden and people like that on the Democratic side? Or is it about trying to help black people survive in the country? Black Lives Matter. Is it about black people trying to succeed and do well? Or is it about the white man in the Democratic Party trying to do well? I'm confused, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about Black Lives Matter being nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize? Is it a good thing? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or is it a bad thing? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. This is totally ridiculous, stupid, um, absurd, dangerous, because now, even by nominating them, even if they don't win, you validate them further. This is not a group that should be validated. I don't care if it's Black Lives Matter. I don't, the name of it doesn't matter. What they do is very dangerous and more black people are suffering as a result. Look at what's going on in these cities where Black Lives Matter and or Antifa have been, uh, quote unquote, raising awareness for the plight of black people. Look at what's happened. Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Minneapolis, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, murder rate jumping 20, 20%, 30%, 40%, 100%. And it's mostly black people suffering as a result. You know, you got these uh, room temperature or below morons talking about Euro Kuhn, Uncle Thomas sellout for hating on Black Lives Matter. Meanwhile, I'm the actual guy worried about black people getting killed as a result of the negative environment they create. The truth is, as I close, black folks need the police. We need it. I mean, they are the last bastion of hope in our communities. Without the police, without having a safe environment, safer than what it is, we're toast. And now you got uh, Biden talking about having 30 million, he says 11 million, but really 30 million illegal aliens become citizens, you know, straight illegal. I ain't talking about green card. I'm talking about straight illegal aliens become citizens. And what's, what's going to happen with that? They want to replace us and then they push for things like Black Lives Matter, which kill us. And abortion does the same thing. Gun control does the same thing. So Black Lives Matter, Nobel Peace Prize, they should be brought up on war crimes, if you ask me. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.